Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you to Representative Jackson for convening this special order, and Representative Cory Bush and Ayanna Presley for your leadership in, con in creating the Congressional ERA Caucus. I rise today as the first black woman to represent Virginia, the birthplace of American democracy and the birthplace of American slavery. I rise as the former state legislator who led Virginia to become the 38th and final state necessary to ratify the Equal Rights Amendment. And it is poetic justice that Virginia was the final state necessary for ratification. It's been a long march towards equality in Virginia's history. In 1619, when the first women were recruited to Jamestown, it was to make wives to the inhabitants and their rights were surrendered to their husbands. They couldn't vote, they couldn't hold public office, they couldn't control their own property. African-American women who arrived in 1619 were considered property and had fewer rights, if any at all. In 1776, the Declaration of Independence established the principle that all men were created equal with inalienable rights. They didn't mean me. And in 17, in, in when the Constitution was developed for we the people in order to form a more perfect union, it didn't include me. The Constitution purported to create a government by, of, and for the people, but not for me, only for white men. And for the past centuries, we've made major progress to secure the blessings of liberty for every American, thanks to the struggle and sacrifice of black women who were in the fight from the beginning, but were the last to benefit from our work. We were there in the fight to abolish slavery. As you heard, we were there in the fight for, suffrage, for, for women's suffrage, even when we were told to march in the back. We marched for civil rights in the 1960s, even though we weren't given a speaking role. We have fought, organized, and marched for ratification of the Equal Rights Amendment for over 100 years. And it is absurd that 100 years after the ERA's introduction, that women still do not have the same constitutional right, rights as men. That is why I am not only committed, but honored to carry on this fight in Congress with my sisters in this fight, with, with Representatives Bush and Presley in the Congressional ERA Caucus. Women across our nation have waited too long for equality. It is our time. Publish the ERA today to, so that tomorrow our daughters don't have to fight this same fight. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I yield back my time.